Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back. And if not welcome back, then hi. My name is Brittany and I moved out of home literally in like the past four days. And yeah, this is the first part of my moving series, I guess. So I went apartment hunting two, three weeks ago and um, I guess we've ended up here at this final apartment. So I'm gonna show you guys like the whole process of apartment hunting and what I was looking for with my partner and also some details like about me. So I guess first things first, my name is Brittany, if you guys didn't know already. Hi, um, I'm 20 years old and I live in Sydney, Australia. I'm currently studying as a university student and I'm studying some other things on the side as well. I moved out with my boyfriend and yeah, we wanted to move out together for several reasons. So first of all, why I wanted to move out personally is because I guess I wanted more independence. Like I felt independent at home, but there was just something that was missing from all of that, like definitely could be more independent. And I felt like moving out would give me that extra step and let me grow a little more just individually as a person. I just think it's a good step for personal development. Another reason why I wanted to move out as well is because I needed a change of scene. I've been at home for so long and I definitely felt very kind of at a standstill in my life or very stagnant in terms of like where I was going and what I was doing. It ended up just like I was too, comfortable in that space and I had set up my workspace in my room as well so it just all got kind of confusing in terms of like physically everything is in one place. Long story short, need a change of scene to get my brain moving again um, and also like feel more motivated. You guys are probably wondering, you know, am I renting or am I buying? Clint and I are currently renting so we're renting an apartment and the reason why we want to rent, I could go on about like renting versus buying like for a long time I feel just because I can see the benefits and downsides to both of these. Previously I had said I would never rent like a few months ago I was like no I would not ever rent and I was pretty strong about my opinion then but my mind changed recently so I guess I'll tell you guys why I decided renting is great now because first of all I, again I see it as an investment in myself in my own growth and development as a person um, but also renting means you know you're free to kind of move around wherever it is that you want whether it be you want to move around the same city or around the world you're not locked down to anything and I don't really see it as a cost like a, a burden of a cost if that makes sense because yeah some people would be like you know the clear argument oh like why would you pay off someone's mortgage but you know it depends how you see it with buying there's like so many upsides and downsides to both to list a few I could go about this for ages I should probably make a podcast about this um, which I have a podcast by the way so about growing but Yes, um, I haven't talked about this before, but in summary, I think, you know, with buying, you obviously, most people get a home loan and you're gonna be paying off your mortgage for a really, 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 really long time. And it just didn't make sense to me knowing I have such limited choice to lock myself down to something. Ultimately, it's just for investment purposes. And even so, I find that, you know, there's other investments that a better return on your capital. It just doesn't make sense to me to go into that asset class when there are other ways to utilize your capital and make better investments, at least in my situation. The main things that we were looking for in an apartment was high ceilings, um, a lot of space, a lot of windows, a lot of light, because I like sunlight, I thrive in the light, and yeah, it's good for filming as well. So that made sense to me. Um, and we also wanted two bedrooms so that we could make one an office space and one a sleeping space. So for the first apartment, this was $520 a week. And this one had two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and really high ceilings. And the windows were like huge because of how high the ceilings were. and. Um, that was like amazing to me because I love high ceilings. Like just high ceilings make everything look a lot bigger and spacious. So it makes a really big difference when you have that kind of space. So yeah, that was a really nice thing about that apartment. And um, yeah, it definitely had enough space. It had carpet grounds, which I wasn't very keen on having carpet just because I really like the wood timber sort of a vibe it's very warm compared to you know just having like a dark carpet if it was a light carpet then you know we could make it work but we were being fussy here so yeah it had carpet so that was like okay about it um 
and yeah it had bad lighting though so everything about this apartment was actually really nice apart from the fact that it had really bad lighting um yeah the lighting was just not it at all it was very dim most of the day and it's because of the direction it was facing it was a i believe a north facing apartment so basically because it was north facing and it was lower down in the levels it didn't receive much sunlight because of the amount of buildings that surrounded the apartment so it definitely was not going to get much sunlight in the daytime and i really like that warm direct sunlight like right now and also next door to like where our window balcony was there was a bunch of construction going on we were not really keen on having all that construction there also because i'm like filming half the time and also once that construction's finished it's going to be like a whole other building just like blocking the light even more so yeah that was the first apartment so the second apartment we looked at was $500 a week and this was an older apartment so it was actually very very spacious um, it had a downstairs which is where you enter through the front door laundry and then you have a bedroom you can make it a bedroom yeah and then you go outside and there's like this kind of patio area it's pretty big like it's quite spacious you can have dogs there which is great um, and then you go back inside and then upstairs there was a living space, another bedroom and a kitchen area except the obvious thing about this place was just it's very very old compared to you know some of the other apartments that we we're planning on looking at and the apartment itself was actually very nice like it had a lot of space it was just a little older and we were looking for something a little more new um, so yeah otherwise it did have a lot of space which i liked because that means there's a lot of storage space and we can move around really easily and it doesn't feel very cramped but again it was a really big thing for me especially the direction of where the sunlight was hitting and yeah it wasn't west facing and i really wanted west facing windows so yeah we had to pass on this one and also it was kind of old so we weren't too keen on that that was apartment two and for apartment three this one was $520 a week. The next two apartments, so apartment three and four, they're both very kind of generic. So you know that they were kind of built um, for the purpose of just kind of, yeah, selling out. The materials just are very basic when you look into it. There wasn't much thought put into, I guess, or investment put into really good kind of utilities and kind of fixtures, for example, the tiling in the kitchen. Um, and also the carpet it was very kind of like an office carpet which I don't like in terms of like having that as your living space otherwise I did like the layout of it so when you walk in you have like the living room and then the two bedrooms one on the left one on the right and then the kitchen area in the back corner you have like laundry and everything same with the fourth apartment we saw so this one was a little bit more expensive this was $550 a week and it's essentially like the same layout as as the apartment before and I guess the only reason why they were asking for more was because it was on a higher level otherwise it was the exact same position just like on a higher level so it didn't really make sense to me everything was kind of the same layout um, again like with the carpet not a big fan tiling and yeah so I think we were pretty sure that we were going to pass on these ones but um they did look really promising online that was the thing but yeah we went and saw them definitely wasn't something you know we would be wanting to stay in for the months to come so that's that apartment okay so for apartment five this one was 550 dollars a week and i actually did quite like this one this one you know it was we were getting some more promising results now that we were looking um so this one did have carpet though but i believe it was a kind of lighter colored carpet so i was like this is really great like you know it's not super dark carpet it's a little more homey um and yeah it had the kitchen at the back right hand corner which was very very spacious there was a lot of space in the kitchen which you know was nice for that apartment and then we have when you first walk into the door before you go into the kitchen the whole living space and you have like big long windows which is nice and then on the left side you have one room which goes to the balcony as well and then storage space um, and then you go out back to the living room and yeah you will find across the other side another bedroom right here and yeah so the bedrooms were quite small um, but otherwise you know not too bad there's more storage space there and then there's also a bathroom on the left hand side of that bedroom 
which was, you know, pretty nice and spacious as a bathtub. And then in here, we just have some storage. So yeah, some extra storage space, which is nice. So just like putting away like cleaning tools, I guess. This was an east facing apartment. So overall it was all right, but it wasn't quite going to catch all that sunlight in the daytime, which was a really big priority for me. Everything about the apartment was actually really great. Just that. And also the balcony had like this really high, like kind of solid concrete railing thing. This one had concrete, which means it blocks off a lot of the sunlight that you are already missing out on because of the direction it was facing. So for the next apartment, apartment six, this was $550 a week as well. And this one had timber floors, which I really liked. But when you walk through the entrance, it's a very kind of tight space. Um, although I guess it was spacious enough for us to have enough room to like do things, obviously, because there's only two of us. And it had lower ceilings, which yeah, made it kind of feel a little smaller compared to some of the other apartments we had seen before. So with this apartment, it was actually east facing as well. So it wasn't west facing, which was kind of a bummer. It was quite cute though. I actually quite liked it um, and probably would have considered it because it had timber floors, which was really nice. Again, the balcony also had like this big white kind of concrete thing to protect you which you know blocked a lot of sunlight which you didn't already have so again that was kind of disappointing otherwise it's really nice the kitchen was really cute um it had you know two bedrooms except this one already came furnished so the owner actually didn't want to remove the furniture that they had in there already and because i feel like we you know, we definitely wanted to like bring our own furniture in to make it feel like you know our home and our place um yeah, so that was a big thing for us. We wanted to make it feel very just comfortable for us. So we didn't want to keep their furniture there. Otherwise it has like the same amount of room. So again, like a two bedroom, um, I think two bathroom and storage space, laundry, kitchen. It's quite nice overall, but it was just a few small things which are important to us. So yeah, I think when you're apartment hunting or home hunting in general, like you need to be fussy about these things. So for apartment seven, this one was $650 a week. So a little bit more over what we were looking for in the first place. Um, so we were trying to keep it to like the 500, 550 mark. And then we went to go see this one, which was 650, but it was just quite nice. So we wanted to go visit it. And yeah, so it was an apartment. It had timber looking floors. So actually they're tiles, but it has that kind of timber look. So it's much warmer. Um, it had really good lighting because it was west facing. So this apartment has two bedrooms as well as the rest do. But yes, yeah, so one of them has a little more sunlight than the other. So we considered, you know, making one a study and then the other one would be the bedroom where it's a little more darker, which makes sense. Cause, and it, I didn't really mind because I was like, oh, this is, you know, it can be quite cozy and you're not going to be in your bedroom for most of the day. So there's that and the bedroom had an ensuite as well. So you go out and there's another bathroom, which is really nice. They had all of the um, flooring like redone um, as in the owners of the place, which was nice in the washing room. Um, there's these two doors which open up. There's a washing machine slash dryer in there. And yeah, you just have like a little cleanup area for your laundry, which was really nice. Um, also storage for just, yeah, cleaning items in general, like mops, um, vacuum cleaner, etc. And then outside next to the uh, laundry, you have two sets of big doors which had other storage space. And then behind that, we have the kitchen area. They had marble tops and yeah, it was just very nice. Um, I was actually pretty pleased about this one. So if anything, it was just kind of like, hmm, would we be prepared to pay more? For apartment number eight, we saw a different one and it was actually in the same building, just a little higher up. And this one was $690 a week. Um, and yeah, it was in the same building. It was more expensive except it had half carpet floors, which I wasn't a fan of because um, again, pretty strong on like the woody kind of warm feeling. And this had dark carpet, which I wasn't a fan of, but they had tiling in the kitchen. So I was very kind of confused. I don't really like that like sudden cut off to that kind of material, but we still had a look at it. And yeah, um, it was on a higher floor and yeah, the appliances weren't upgraded though, compared to the one we saw before, number seven. So it just, 
yeah it didn't make sense why it was more expensive I guess because it was on a higher floor maybe there were a lot of things I think it was you know missing compared to the other apartments so yeah I guess I kind of liked the apartment before that better than this one purely because it had tiling in number seven which looked like timber and this one just had dark carpet I guess those are all the apartments that we looked at and it was quite a process. I guess it was just like we were looking at different prices. We wanted to make sure that we had all the points that we wanted in a home when we were moving out. Um, and I feel like you guys might have already been able to guess which apartment we went with can based off of like how positive my response is to like some of these apartments. But we moved into apartment number seven because it was just, the floors really got me and it's like a tile. It's not like a timber either. So it's like a replica kind of timber floor made in like tiles. And yeah, we had really good lighting. It was west facing. I like that we could turn one of the rooms into a study. We still got a lot of light and the bedroom is a little darker, but I didn't mind that because it's just cozy again. So yeah, like we have sunlight throughout the whole day, throughout this like whole area, which is so, so nice. So yeah, this is the apartment we chose. It's $650 a week, but we negotiated it down to $625 a week. There wasn't anyone occupying or I guess looking at this apartment from what I'm assuming, cause I saw it was listed for a while. I was just like, yeah, no one has probably really put in an offer, otherwise they would have taken it already. Um, and it's been on the market for a while. And yeah, there's like a lot of supply right now too because of the virus and everything. Not a lot of people coming in and students, overseas students and that. So yeah, um, I guess these are some of the apartments that we looked at. I hope this was interesting and useful to you guys. Some last pieces of advice that I can give if you are looking for a place to move to is make sure that you know what your budget is and how much you're willing to spend in the amount of time that you plan on moving out for and also keep in mind that there are going to be a lot of random costs that you incur and some ongoing costs such as like wi-fi internet electricity water these kinds of things that you kind of have to like keep in mind you don't want to be stressing out over finances you want to create less stress for yourself so there's that and yeah also knowing that you can save at the same time and how much you can save no kind of way you want to live and why is it convenient for you to get to places I guess that's kind of it for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys found this video interesting and useful at all so I've been posting like updates about my move on my Instagram so if you guys want to head over to Brittany Lee that's my Instagram yeah feel free to check that out I also post like outfit stuff there too but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys very soon with more moving content about like my actual move and everything because I've been busy moving I haven't been able to edit or prepare any of those pieces of content yet but they're coming really soon so get keen I definitely recorded everything um, there was so much involved in this whole move in so I'm so excited for you guys to see if you guys want updates on that again I'll update you guys on my Instagram so yeah Brittany Lee thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one